I am Anusha from uvassociates.in and you are watching part 1 of Blender 3D tutorial series Blending Made Easy. Let's start. Here is your first site of Blender 2.49b. This window here is called the 3D viewport and I'm sure most of you are familiar with this term. Down here is the buttons window and on the top you have the user preferences window but most of that is hidden right now and we'll cover that one later. Now in the 3D viewport we have three objects default cube, lamp and the camera. Let's try some basic simple commands. Scroll with the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. As you zoom out you can see that the camera comes into view completely. Alternatively you can do a control Alter and left click drag to zoom in and out. Like any other 3D program, you can see your object from front, top, side. To do that, go to View menu in the 3D viewport header and click on Side, Front, or Top. You can see that. There are shortcuts available for side, front and top views. These are numpad 3, 1 and 7. These numpad shortcuts are different from the keypad number keys 7, 1 and 3. Next is the camera view over here. The shortcut for that is numpad 0. Numpad 0 is a toggle between the user view, the last user, user view, and the camera view. Let's try some other commands. Selection and deselection in Blender is done using the keys right click and shift right click. Right click for select and shift right click to deselect. This default cube is already selected by default and you can see that there is a pink boundary line around it. If I do a shift right click, this gets deselected. You can select the object by right clicking and to add another object to this selection, do a shift right click. To remove an object from the selection, do a shift right click again. For selecting all the objects, press A key. If one or more of the objects in the viewport are selected and you press A key, all the objects get deselected. Now let's try moving, rotating and scaling your object. Right click on the cube to select. G for grab or hold the object and move it freely with the mouse movement. Click to finalize the movement. Ctrl Z to undo. Again G for grabbing and then escape to cancel the movement. Let's try rotating. R for rotate. Left click to finalize the rotation. Ctrl Z or R for rotate. And escape for cancelling the rotation. Similarly with scaling. S to scale. Escape to cancel the scaling. S to scale and left click to finalize the scaling. Ctrl Z to undo. Now let's go to the camera view. Here we can see that if I press G I can do a free movement. But, uh, but what if I want to restrict this movement along the Y and Z axis? 
that is I want to make this movement allowed only on the X axis press X and you can see that the movement is now allowed only on the X axis which is displayed here along global X press Y and you can see that the movement now becomes allowed only on the Y axis and similarly Z for the Z axis so you have to basically press G followed by X or Y or Z escape to cancel now let's try rotation press R to rotate freely and X to rotate along the X axis Y for rotating along the Y axis similarly Z now let's try scaling S to scale freely but if I press X right now then it will be, be it will be allowed only on the X axis similarly Y for scaling along the Y axis and Z for scaling along the Z axis now let's try another thing what if I want to restrict the movement only along one axis till now we were doing this grab G and we were pressing X to making the movement allowed only on the X axis what if I want that the movement should be allowed on X and Y axis but not on Z axis let's press shift Z now you can see that the cube is moving anywhere on the floor but it's not moving up or down that is it's moving along the X and the Y axis freely but the movement is locked along the Z axis as shown by this mes message over here locking global Z similarly you can lock the movement along the X axis now the cube can be moved on Y and Z axis but not on the X axis and shift Y to lock the movement on the Y axis so the cube is moving only in the X and the Z axis directions now let's try rotation R to rotate and shift X to rotate in Z and Y axis but we have locked the rotation along the global X axis this will be more apparent while we scale the object press S to scale and then press shift X to lock the rotation along the uh, sorry the scaling along the X axis the scaling is now on only happening along the Y and Z axis click to accept the scaling or you could have uh, pressed escape to cancel the scaling so that's all for now. These were some basic commands of Blender and we'll be moving on to the introduction of interface part 2 in the next tutorial. Do practice these commands as they'll require some time to get comfortable with. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.